Well, welcome, Robbo, to the first ever Glasgow Gold here at glasgowgold.tv. Mate, it's been seven years in the making. You are jumping out of your skin. I can see you. Look, it's great to be here, Mossy. The double X Games, they've finally come. I thought they'd never come, and uh, they're now upon us, and we've had the opening ceremony. We'll get into that in a little bit. But first, mate, uh, you got down there to George Square and it got a little flavour of what was happening, the vibe of the game. Tell us a bit, bit about that. Mate, it was the, uh, as you know, George Square, the probably the most uh, famous square of all time in the history of all kind. History of squares. Well, absolutely. Uh, and, yeah, well, I got out there earlier today uh, to catch a bit of the vibe, the flavour, to see what the people of Glasgow are, are talking about as far as uh, the Commonwealth Games here. And uh, here's how it panned out. Yeah, we've come a bloody long way over here to Glasgow for the double X rated games. Plenty of people around here at George Square. I'm going to have a chat to a few people and see what they have to say about the games. Um, the vibe on the streets here in Glasgow, what are you sort of seeing? Um, everyone is happy, the sun is out and the Glaswegians will welcome everybody. It's great weather here at the moment. Tell us um, so far Glasgow, what's your uh, thoughts? Fantastic. Well we had a three day camp in uh, Newcastle. Rocked up here yesterday, how good's the weather? What are you looking forward to most about the games? Swimming. Do because, you like to swim yourself? No, because my niece is a pool attendant and she's working at the Commonwealth Pool up at whatever it is in Glasgow. Yeah, well it is, it's, it's the water that's just up that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the go with this weather today? I mean, Glasgow, where are we? We've had it all, all week. This is typical Scottish weather. What was that? Typical Scottish Ty weather. Typical Scottish it's weather. Yeah. Australia. Yeah, it is, it is. I've been at New Zealand last oh, year. Oh, well, half yeah, your luck. Now, Robbo, contentious, my friend. The lineup for tickets, it was massive. Probably one of the biggest lineups uh, that we've seen since 1964. Uh, my friend, uh, how did you see that lineup? Yeah, look, it was Boxing Day like. Uh, the line was going long and strong and into the streets, wrapping right around the grid system. Of like a snake, Robbo. It was. The, the grid system of inner Glasgow was certainly being challenged. We caught up with some people in the line, Mossy. Uh, some some people just kicking around, and uh, let's ha see how that went. So here we are in line for tickets at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games, and bumped into a couple of journo's, Tom and Andy. Boys are working hard out here today. We are, yeah. Well, lively, isn't it? The sun's out. Everyone's brimming with pride, and just can't wait for the event to get underway. Yeah, is it true? I, I know you guys are big fans of Mossy and Robbo. Is it true that you are thrilled to finally catch up with us here today? I've been a long time waiting for this moment. Yeah, yeah. It's really sort of made the games for me. Yeah. I mean, I sure. flew up here purely to catch up with you boys. You know, I brought that from back home. You know, I downloaded that off, off the yep. website. Yep. Um, I can't tell you what this means to be standing alongside you right now. Now, tell people watching, uh, where can people watch the stuff that you're doing? Uh, we're covering for the whole Seven Network back home. So we've got uh, Sunrise for us, and then uh, we're covering for all the news programs as well. The Seven Network, they're, uh, they're one of the heavyweights, a bit like Mossy and Robbo. Oh, yeah, we, we try our hardest to compete. We've heard about you guys, so you sort of made us lift our game a little bit. Here in Scotland, they have an annual public holiday, Robert, every single year for a guy who is poet. Now, I can't believe the fact that so there's no other country that celebrates these things. We don't have one in Australia for Banjo Patterson. It's an absolute nightmare that we don't have that. But anyway, they have a Robbie Burns public holiday. Give us a little bit of an insight into Robbie Burns. Yes, Mossy. Well, Robbie Burns, he is Scotland's poet, uh, made famous in the late 18th century. He was writing some of his greatest works then. He's known as the Bard. And uh, he's, the Scots just fell in love with the way that he was writing. And look, we thought, well, here in uh, Glasgow, we've got a Burns of our own. Uh, he's actually the son of Robert Burns, and uh, he's none other than Craig Burns, member of the 4x400-metre relay team. He's a tall Queenslander, uh, lovely fella. Massive thighs, Robbo, I yes. have to admit. Yeah, no, that helps him get around those bends. And uh, he has a real love for Burns poetry. And as part of the Glasgow Gold series, we're going to be hearing from Craig Burns each night and or each morning even, depending when you're listening and watching. And uh, let's have the first instalment of A Word With Burns. Scots were he we Wallace bled, Scots when Bruce was Afton led. Welcome to your gory bed, O oh, to victory. Now's the day and now's the hour, see the front, O oh, battle hour. See approach proud Edward's power, chains and slavery. Lay the proud usurpers low, tyrants fall in every foe, liberties in every blow. Let us do or die. 
So there you go, Robbo, a word with Burns, and I think there's a lot in that for all of us. Now, mates, uh, the opening ceremony kicked off tonight. There was word around the uh, streets of Glasgow that there was going to be a bit of a fizzler, but my friend, it was an absolute legendary experience for everyone involved. It was. Uh, we didn't actually make it into Celtic Park. Uh, we decided to spread ourselves around a little bit with the people, and we got along to Glasgow Green. And that's what they call this park in, in town here in Glasgow. We're actually renaming it for the duration of the games, Glasgow Green and Gold just so uh, people are across that. So we took uh, Jumpy, the uh, inflatable kangaroo. We took our blow-up tartan couch, and we set up camp uh, at the lovely uh, establishment just near uh, Glasgow Green there, and uh, we caught up with some of the folk there to get a sense of how they were looking forward to the opening ceremony. G'day, buddy. What's your name? I'm Jim. Welcome to Glasgow. Oh, Jim. <laughs> hey, Jim. I'm Mossy. Welcome to Glasgow yourself. Uh, oh, I was born here, and I'm all right. <laughs> Oh, Glasgow's been great and there's been such a good buzz in the city. Everybody's really been enthusiastic about it. And it now, are you like us where you really wanted to go to the opening ceremony but you, you couldn't get any free tickets? No, we just got stuck in here because it's such a great place, you know. We saw you guys and we're like, why would you want to leave? What we want to do is hear you sing the Scottish National Anthem. Because when the Scots win a gold medal, <laughs> they need to sing the anthem and we want to hear that live on camera. What is the anthem? It's a little bit contentious. Oh. Is it not the flower of Scotland? It's not. It is the flower of Scotland for the first time. (laughs) First time it is the flower of Scotland. So let's hear it. Oh, flower of Scotland. Louder. Where will we see your lights again? Who thought and died for you? So, Mossy, plenty of colour and excitement there at the Glasgow Green and Gold. Uh, the opening ceremony wasn't that a show. Uh, so it, a lot had been built up about it. The largest screen in all of Europe uh, was on show. Uh, what was your highlights, mate? I, I'd say my highlight was rocking Rod Stewart, only 25 years of age. We know that uh, he looks like he's 14, but, mate, he was looking absolutely amazing. And also, secondary to that, was the introduction, the excitement beyond the Jamaican team with a double hyphen for the girl who was carrying the flag. Yeah, it was good. What about the little Scotty dogs? I was a big fan of them. Uh, Did you notice the out? Scotty dog out there that uh, it was just freaking out? Yes. And it had to be carried on the belly. Yeah, no, they can be a little bit temperamental at times, but most of them did, did pretty well. Hi, I'm Jess Trengove, and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. Righto, tomorrow, Robo, it kicks off all the action here. We have 11 days, 17 different sports, including judo. And, my friend, we are heading out tomorrow to catch up with one of the greatest games of all time. What are we doing tomorrow, Robo? Yep, it's all about the hockey in the morning, and it's the women's hockey team from Australia, the Hockey Roos. And, Who was uh, that? The... Well, they're known as the Hottie Roos. They, they self-proclaim uh, themselves let, as the Hottie Roos. And let me tell you, we spent some time on the plane. With we them, did. I have to admit, Hottie Roos sounds much better than Hockey Roos. Yeah, well, this is, uh, this is a signed card from the entire team, the entire squad of the Hockey Roos, uh, which we got on the flight over here with Emirates. So that was fantastic. But uh, they'll be taking on Malaysia in the first game. Must be about the first action of the entire games in the morning. So that'll be great. Uh, traditional rivals, as we know. Australia and Malaysia, and uh, Malaysia will be looking to play that one pretty much on the ground, I'm sure, and Australia will be looking to take it out up front. Absolutely. I mean, and this is the, the revolutionary aspect of the hockey uh, that has been seen is the fact that you can play it in the air. Malaysia like to play it along the ground, so I think they're going to struggle a lot uh, between the hottie roos. And, and the, as you said there, it's traditional rivals. A lot of people talk about Australia and England, but look, forget about that. It's Malaysia and Australia. It is going to be an absolute bumper out there. And I think, look, it's going to be a very, very tight game, and I reckon it's going to be 15 nil to Australia. There you go. Well, uh, Mossy, in also other action, triathlons actually taking part not far from our home base here at the Hamilton Studios. Uh, it'll be kicking off with the women's race in the morning and then the men's in the afternoon. We'll be hoping to get along to see some of that action and cheer them on in the swim 
ride run discipline and Australia's have, Australians have done so well in that in the past I think we're in for a couple of goals there to get us open up the account it'd be good to get that done early on absolutely Robo. well mate look that's all we've got time for today on glasgowgold.tv don't forget to check us out on Facebook Mossy and Robo Twitter Instagram we've got you covered everywhere via the Royal Mail in particular uh, we look forward to catching you tomorrow and as always don't forget to run, jump, and chuck. chuck.